so we have a nice gentleman from ford school limited he's coming to give us a speech let's keep quiet and listen to him but before let's clap for him as he mounts the stage a round of applause please thank you very much hello good morning i am Emmanuel tetidano the school prefect of a prestigious ford schools limited and i'm going to be delivering a speech on the topic entitled commitment so we can define commitment as devotion being devoted or dedicated to a cause that is worthwhile okay so as i said earlier commitment in my world can be defined as being devoted or dedicated to a cause that is worthwhile now people or other people might have their own perspectives that a cause that is worthwhile depends on the person so anything you do at all you can define it as being worthwhile but there are some specific things that are worthwhile and there are some specific things that are not worthwhile and when we talk about commitment there are a lot of things that affect our commitment so you hear people saying motivation so motivation can affect your commitment your environment can affect your commitment so you hear somebody saying i feel like doing something but i'm not motivated i don't i, I don't i can't find the right spirit i can't channel the right energy but you must keep in mind that where focus flows energy flows accordingly so if you need motivation yes motivation gets you started but discipline gets you going so we must not always rely on motivation if you rely on motivation what you want to do any cause that you think is worthwhile that you must do you need motivation before doing it so you relax and when you feel like doing it that is when you do it but when you don't feel like doing it you don't do it so you have a science textbook or a math textbook you want to you want to read you want to solve some examples but you don't feel like doing it so you don't do it now the most important things that legends and winners do is they do things when they feel like doing it but the most important thing is not feeling like doing something and doing it anyway so when you do things anyway that means you are committed to the cause when you do things anyway that means you are disciplined so it doesn't matter your environment it doesn't matter your background it doesn't matter where you come from once you are committed to a cause once you are committed to something it doesn't matter whether you get the attention or not if you want to sing you sing including singing yourself when you want to sing you sing if no one even listens to you you sing including singing to yourself because that's what god gave to you you want to write a book you write a book even if no one publishes it you just write because that is what god gave to you now the second thing that affects our commitment is our environment now a popular motivational speaker steve harvey said that when you take an oak tree seed and you put it in a two foot pot the oak tree is not going to grow like the way you want it to grow now check this out ain't nothing wrong with the seed the seed just fell prey to the environment don't let your environment dictate the oak tree that you become so you might be from a poor background people might define you describe you categorize you as blockheaded but that is the environment that is what they think now you have to decide whether you let the environment affect you negatively or you let the environment move you so doing things anyway that is what is called discipline so when you are committed to a course each and every day you must check your commitment system so there are some things that you do that are worthwhile so if you have you must have things that you do that are worthwhile and you must have things that you take a break from so things that you take you used to take a break shouldn't be on worthwhile things so you take a break from the worthwhile things because you can't you can't be doing action you can't be doing work every day you can't be learning every day so you must tell your body you must let your body be a slave to you if you don't let your body be a slave to you you will be a slave 
to your body so you don't feel like you don't you don't feel, you you want to learn you're, you are tired you don't feel like learning your body says don't learn because your body is detecting you you also don't learn when you want to read something you want to do something productive but the flesh says that no just just go and sleep you you do so because you are a slave to your body you wake up 5 a.m in the morning and your body tells you that just have 15 minutes of sleep just 15 minutes and you'll be back up and because you are a slave to your body because your commitment system is very low you sleep and you wake up and it's six o'clock you wake up and it's seven o'clock that's 15 minutes that's 15 minutes you slept on can push back your dream can push back your goal for i don't know how long so we must check our commitment system how devoted are we to, to the things we have found ourselves talented in if you if you are good at singing how devoted are you to singing if you are good at writing how devoted are you to writing if you are a waste kid if you are if you are someone who is very intelligent how devoted are you to your books because everyone everyone is is given a talent and it is up to you to find your talent so the day you find your talent that is when the day you start living now i want us to take a quick exercise so when someone is born and he dies the day the year the person was born is written on the left side and the year the person died is written on the right side and there's this dash or hyphen whatever you might call it now that dash in the middle shows what you did between the day you were born to the day you died so between that time how many lives have you impacted between that time how many productive things have you done that dash in the middle shows what you have done throughout those years so if it is if it is probably someone night was born 1947 and probably died say 2010 or something 1947 to 2010 calculations will show you that is 63 years so in that 63 years what were you able to do how many lives did you impact we heard of a very sad story of a Ghanaian footballer who just died from an earthquake now we all know him for his football Christian Atu we all know him for the football he plays but aside of that if you look at the lives he has impacted he has released people from prison he has helped his his, his cold football club now you might think the year from 19 i think 1993 or so to now you might think the year is too small for a 31 year old but that dash in the middle he made it significant that dash in the middle 1993 to 2023 look at the years the years he has been through it it has not been like a 90 year old man or an 80 year old man but he has been able to impact lives so our commitment system is something we should check every day how committed you are to something if you love something that is where your energy flows but if you don't love something your energy doesn't go there so you pick mass for example you don't like mass so when you when you see a mass textbook you don't want to pick it but you pick another subject like creative arts ICT that is what you like now it is our job to make sure that we like everything equally and it is not because we can't do it it is because our mind is telling us we can't do it so a part of being commit committed is breaking that gap breaking what your mind is telling you your mind is telling you no you can't do it you tell your mind i can't do it so you 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 counter whatever your mind tells you now your mind controls your whole body that is why when the devil wants to attack you he attacks you through your mind that is when temptation comes in so your mind is your most powerful tool and how you use your mind will determine how productive you are so if you want to do something productive and your mind doesn't channel that energy your mind doesn't tell you to do it your body will be doing it but when you go through a certain span you realize that you are giving up because from the onset you didn't train your mind so we have to train our mind to improve our commit system commitment system we have to train our mind every day every day we go 86,400 seconds in a day just those seconds 
we can use it to do something. Just those seconds, we can use it to train our mind. And remember, when you want to do something, no one will do it for you. Your mom can't learn for you. Your dad can't do the productive things you want to be done. You must do it for yourself. And remember, it doesn't matter the background you are from. You can equally make it. Every human being was born from a level of zero. Now, as the person rises up, as days go by, those, th that number zero increases based on the work ethic you put on it. Based on what you do, you realize that a day pushes, you move from zero, you move from one, you move from two, you move from three, and so on. And at the day, that year will be written on the right side of your grave, you will have done something productive. You would have impacted lives. You have done a whole lot. Now, people who, they, who do things consistently on, on time, they surpass people who do things raw. So, when you do things consistently and on time, you surpass other people. So, we look at our personal commit, commitment system. Now, when we go outside, we have people who have the same commitment system. So now it becomes a challenge. You versus someone. When you go to the outside world, it is not only you. So your aim is you, you, you push further than the one who is trying to get what you are trying to get. So for example, if there's a managerial job in a company and there are two people, one person must outwork one person to get what is needed. So you must always remember to improve on your commit system because that is where will get you where you want to get, where you want to get to. Keep this in mind. Never forget these words. Improve your, commit system, your commitment system each and every day. Thank you.